Hey guys, welcome to yet another session of K21 Academy. In this session, we are comparing three cloud providers, AWS, Azure, and GCP. This is gonna be a very interesting comparison because they all are top three competitor in the market and serving excellent services to businesses around the world. I also want a little bit favor from your side. Comment below which one will you choose after analyzing the whole comparison. Before moving further, let's have a look to agenda for this video. Firstly, we will see why cloud computing, what is actual need of cloud computing, followed by overview of cloud computing, then what is Amazon Web Service, what is Microsoft Azure, what is Google Cloud Platform, and after that, AWS Azure GCP tools and services then the actual difference between AWS, Azure and GCP, some pro and cons. And finally, we will see worldwide cloud adoption. Now let's start with why cloud computing. The traditional way of hosting applications was very complicated and expensive. The amount of hardware and software resources required to run them was complex. Like you would be needing a team of expert to install, configure, test, run, secure and update them. But in cloud computing, everything is well managed and you only pay for what you use. In this case, developer one want a file from developer two, but as a result, he got that it is not exactly quick, efficient and secure. With cloud computing, it's easy to deliver services over internet. Now let's have a look to overview of cloud computing. As per the definition, cloud computing is on-demand availability of computer resources like servers, which contains memory, CPU, different type of storage like blob storage, object storage, databases like structured data, unstructured data, semi-structured data, networking, which includes virtual network, subnet, connecting with on-premise and so on. Cloud computing is like your electricity bill like you only pay for what you use. Cloud deployment model. There are four cloud deployment models, private, public, community, and hybrid. Like each cloud deployment model satisfies different organization needs. In public cloud, you can host websites, web apps, but if you have sensitive data, then you will definitely go with private cloud. But if you have website as well as sensitive data, then you will definitely go with hybrid cloud and in community cloud it allow system and services to be accessible by the group or organizations. The main type of cloud computing includes software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. Salesforce Mailchimp is under software as a service. Microsoft Azure cloud bees is under platform as a service and Rackspace Amazon Web Service is under infrastructure as a service. Now in next step, let's explore each cloud provider individually. Firstly, we will talk about Amazon Web Service. So we all know about Amazon Web Service is subsidiary of Amazon that provide on-demand cloud computing services. It has 170 plus services upon running. 55 availability zones are in 24 region. If you don't know, let me tell you what is availability zone. Availability zones are nothing but a physical data centers in a region. It provide inexpensive low legacy and network connectivity to other availability zone in the same region. Now let's talk about Microsoft Azure. So Microsoft Azure is a subsidiary of Microsoft and used to build, test, deploy and manage application in the cloud. It has 100 plus services upon running, 54 Azure regions available across 140 countries, which is used as compared to other cloud providers. In next, Google Cloud Platform. We all know Google, right? Google search engine hosted on Google Cloud Platform. It is also provide various cloud computing services needed to develop, deploy, scale, monitor, and operate a cloud. It has 100 plus services upon running, 25 region with 76 total zone around the globe and also planning for more. AWS Azure GCP provides a lot of services to their customers 
and these services are divided under some categories or some domains. These are compute, networking, storage, and so on. Now let's see some categories or domain one by one. So the first one is compute. Basically compute is the ability of a computer to perform work often considered in terms of the number of instruction that can be carried out. AWS has elastic compute cloud EC2. It is basically used to create instances and it provides secure reliable compute capacity in the cloud. Azure VM gives you the flexibility of virtualizing without having to buy and maintain physical hardware that run your application. GCP offer compute engine. It is a compute service that let you create and run virtual machine on Google infrastructure. So in next it is object storage. It is basically used to store any kind of file in the cloud. In AWS, it is Amazon S3. In Azure, it is Azure Blob Storage. And in GCP, it is Cloud Storage. So in next, it is networking. So networking is a type of IT infrastructure in which some or all of an organization network capabilities and resources are hosted. In AWS, it is Amazon VPC, Virtual Private Network Cloud. And in Azure, it is Azure Virtual Network. And in GCP, it is Cloud Virtual Network. Now let's see the actual difference between AWS, Azure, and GCP. History and open source. Nothing ever becomes real till it is experienced, right? AWS is in the market from the beginning of 2006, where Azure started its services in 2010. GCP launched in 2008. AWS is friendly with the open source model from the beginning, where Azure lag a bit behind in the terms of relationship with open source community. GCP offers managed open source services that are tightly integrated into Google Cloud. In next, we will see service integration. So AWS allows user to easily integrate with services like Amazon EC2, Amazon S3, Beanstalk, and so on, where Azure allows user to integrate with services like Azure VM, Azure App Service, SQL databases, and more. In GCP, you can integrate with services like Compute Engine, Cloud Storage, Cloud SQL, and more. Now, managing packages. If you take any software, you will need a package manager. Like if you are working on Angular or any node-based framework, you will surely need a node package manager. In AWS, you need to integrate an external software or a third party software like Artifactory. But in Azure, there's a tool Azure Artifacts. It is used to manage packages like Nugget, Marvin inside Azure portal. In Google Cloud Platform, Artifact Registry is a single place to manage container, images, and language packages like Marvin and NPM. In terms of managing packages, Azure and GCP has their own tool to manage packages where AWS depend on third party software. So there are lots of job available for AWS, Azure and GCP. Like in AWS, you can become operational support engineer, cloud software engineer, system integrator in cloud, DevOps engineer, AWS solution architect, in Azure, you can become Azure Administrator, Azure Developer, Azure Solution Architect, Azure DevOps Engineer. In GCP, you can become Solution Architect, Cloud Developer, Cloud Administrator, Cloud DevOps Engineer, Operation Support Engineer. At the end, we will also share certification program for Solution Architecture certification in AWS, Azure, and GCP. According to Payscale and Glassdoor, the average salary of AWS Solution Architect in India is 180K INR per year and 123K USD per year in USA. For Azure Solution Architect, the salary in India is 180K INR per year and 119K USD per year in USA. Similarly, for Google Cloud Engineer, it is 190K INR per year in India and 135k USD per year in USA. Now let's see brand trust. Netflix, BBC, Facebook, Spotify, LinkedIn, they all are using Amazon Web Service where Adobe, 
HP, eBay, Samsung, Rolls Royce, they all using Microsoft Azure. Similarly, PayPal, Twitter, Airbus, Spotify, Toyota, they are using Google Cloud Platform. According to market share by 2020, Amazon Web Service has the maximum market share, which is 52%. Then the Azure on second number, it is 21%. Then on third number, it is Google Cloud Platform and other are in 9%. Now let's discuss AWS Azure GCP Pro and Cons. So in pros, Microsoft Azure is the strongest competitor of AWS and Google Cloud Platform. It offers substantial support for hybrid cloud applications and help companies to protect their client data that could be sensitive. AWS is an established market leader. As we discussed, AWS has the maximum market share as compared to other cloud vendors. Where GCP specialized in high compute offering like big data, analytics and machine learning is also offer considerable scale and load balancing. Google knows the data center and fast response time. Azure has a great integration with its respective tools and softwares. AWS offers minimum data loss during the servers and storage transfer. Where in Google Cloud Platform, it is easy to integrate with other GCP services like Compute Engine, Kubernetes Engine or App Engine. Azure is on top if it is about availability zones. Azure offer 54 Azure regions available 140 countries, which is higher in all cloud giants. Where AWS provide 76 availability zone with 24 country and planning for more. Google Cloud Platform known for its detailed documentation, including an API reference guide. Azure has the deeper knowledge of enterprise needs. Azure services fulfill the requirement of enterprises. AWS provide easy availability of data. It comes from several availability zone so that user can choose to store the data near to their location. Google Cloud Platform committed to open source and portability. It has great reputation in open source community. So as we discuss pro of AWS, Azure and GCP, now let's have a look to cons of these cloud providers. Azure should provide easier integration with other products line to improve accessibility. But in Azure, integration with non-Microsoft is difficult. Where AWS is less open to private cloud, that make it less popular in terms of storage option for the sensitive industries like banking, where we cannot compromise with user privacy. In Google Cloud Platform, Google's App Engine is limited to Java, Python, PHP and Google Go. But developers want a little bit improvement in this section. Azure is friendly with their software and tools, but not with non-window platforms. They have to improve in this section where AWS has no demonstrated support for hybrid cloud. In GCP, the cost of downloading data from Google Cloud Storage is quite high. Azure have low quality support where AWS has a vast range of product to offer its user. However, to be able to navigate through these product and choose the best out of them is quite difficult. Organization may find AWS too complex in sense that there are too many services that can potentially manipulate where GCP provide quite costly support. The cost is about $150 per month for silver class, which is the most basic of services. So GCP have to take care of the cost management so that they can improve in all the sections. Now let's see worldwide cloud adoption of cloud providers. After analyzing various parameters, we found that war of AWS Azure Google Cloud. AWS is scoring more points than Azure Google Cloud. However, it's hard to say that up to when AWS will wear the leading cloud platforms crown. No doubt Azure GCP are offering top level functionality and features. That's why in future any of these cloud platforms can lead the race. If you want to become an AWS certified solution architect associate and want to learn right from basic to expert level, then we have a comprehensive training program for you that includes hands on lab exam preparation and most important on job support. 
If you are interested in this training program, I would highly recommend you to join our free class that covers most of the topics like why and who should learn AWS cloud service deployment model and AWS services demo on creating S3 bucket make a data available to entire world and more other topics. You can register yourself for this free class by going on to the link k21academy.com slash AWS SA02. If you want to get certified in Microsoft Azure Solution Architect Certification Technical Implementation, which is AZ303 and Microsoft Azure Solution Architect Certification for Design, which is AZ304, then we have a comprehensive training program for you that includes hands on lab exam preparation and most important on job support. If you are interested in this training program, I would highly recommend you to join our free class that covers most of the topics like why and who should learn Azure Cloud, Azure Certification Roadmap for Architects, Databases, Backup and Recovery, Migration, Architect Center and Demo on Deploying Azure Container Instant and many other topics. You can register for this free class by going on to the link k21academy.com slash az30302 or k21academy.com slash az30402. Till then, take care.